Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, one thing about that Clubhouse app, like I always tell y'all, it's always going to get the guys who are supposed to be street dudes talking way too much. No matter how much we hear about other artists or other individuals being taken down due to Instagram lives or posts or stories, somehow these guys continuously get on social media and say more than they should while going back and forth with each other. It's almost like they either think they're invincible or maybe they just feel like it can't happen to them. The only foolish thing about that though is that when something actually does happen and these guys get in trouble with the law, they're so quick to say that this or that one snitched or this or that one was the one that said something when in reality it wasn't anybody except themselves so today we're going to talk about a recent back and forth between Mimo 600 and Lil Vani that transpired on Clubhouse for the millionth time and also Vani mentioned something that was a little interesting in one of the audio clips concerning J.H.E. Ruka's brother M.O.B. Scrap and his demise it was somewhere along the lines of some foul play going on I don't know if you would want to take it as a possible backdoor situation, but Varney made it seem as if it wasn't 100% the ops like people think it was. Which is kind of interesting because that might change the whole narrative of what we thought we knew. So we're going to play the clips and let y'all be the judge and then talk about it after. Also, y'all let us know what y'all think in the comments below about it in the meantime. But as of right now, shout out to International Drill Music on the Instagram clips. Um, Check this out. Any one of you on here show me a video where y'all did more numbers than me on LAI. Any one of you, any one of you, no cripple, lame ass, sneak this, and I was in with you earlier. I'm telling this to your face. You got more, you got more numbers than me, but I have more money. I ain't finna holler with you. I'm not gonna holler with you either. You have more numbers than me, but I have more money than you. I got more legs than you, goofy. And I still got more money than you. We ain't even sleep this too. We told him he a goofy. Bro, I'm not talking about no. you. Goofies. Why the f you jumping in, goofy? And then, and, and, and then we told we said we could And then we said me most smart. smart. He ain't wrong. Man, get you y'all like you know what y'all you know what y'all you know what y'all you know what y'all you know what you know what y'all 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 Hey, listen, y'all. Did, did I not say I commend him? Man, you gotta to explain yourself to do you. Hey, what's understood? Hey, Mimo, Mimo don't hold no weight in Chicago. Y'all know Fresh went to go tell him, right? He come Fresh and Mimo on Wilmo. What the? That song ain't finna go across the street, nigga. Y'all explain yourself to me. He ain't finna get recruited for that song. Come out crippled. Scary as hell, you lame. We need some get back. <laughs> you playing like y'all killers. You ain't never met none that. You playing with Ross. Go do Ross. I know the real you. You ain't never heard a flag. But I slid before you did for your own brother. What you talking about? Go. Then he always talking about my brother killer did. Y'all ain't do it or you. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna hit that shit. That ain't come from y'all side. Oh, folks, them then that was inside snake. Hating it now, baby. Now, <laughs> I find it funny when these guys always say things like, I hate these apps, knowing damn well nobody forcing y'all to get on these apps. Y'all get on these apps and do what y'all do and say what y'all say. Nobody force y'all. But anyway, it looks like things started out regular and somehow it escalated after Mimo mentioned that he get more views on his videos. Then Varney mentioned that he got more money. Mimo started talking about his legs and then it just went downhill from there. 
And I'm lost because recently I seen that Mimo and Lil Vani supposedly had ended whatever feud that they had in the past. I assumed it involved the whole push and peace narrative, but I guess I was wrong. Now, Mimo accused Vani of sneak dissing from what I heard, but here's where it got interesting. And the part that got me the most is that Lil Vani said, quote, I slid before you did for your own brother. <laughs> I repeat, I slid before you did for your own brother. Now, like I always tell y'all, the thing about Clubhouse and just social media, period, it's not that you want to incriminate yourself, and it's not like you're trying to, but sometimes the frustration and anger can get the best of us in the heat of the moment and cause us to say or do certain things on social media that we know we shouldn't be doing. I feel that's exactly what happened here. Lovani admittingly said that he slid for Mimo's little brother, Lil Steve, before he did after Lil Steve passed away. And when you think about what he said, he definitely hit a nerve with that one because who wants to hear something like that, especially towards their dead sibling? You know, it's kind of crazy, especially when, you know, Mimo, he always says that, you know, his, his brother killer is gone and, you know, that's his brother. And, you know, what y'all got to remember is that these guys actually know each other. So I'm sure it's a lot that they can both expose, you know, about each other, which makes it even more interesting when these guys get to speaking on one another. Which leads me to another comment that Lil Vani said as well. After saying that he slid for Lil Steve before Mimo did, he also mentioned something about J.G. Ruger's brother, M.O.B. Scrap. Now, he didn't say his name. Let's put that out there now. But if you've been following the drill culture, you pretty much know what he said and who it was attended for. Someone in the room mentioned that Mimo was always talking about his brother's killer being dead, but exposed that Mimo nor anybody on his side did anything that made that happen. The individual would say that what transpired didn't come from Mimo and them, and Lil Vani would chime in afterwards, confirming it, saying that was some inside snake-ish, right? So when you hear something like that, first and foremost, like I say, he didn't say um, Ruka's brother's name, but if you know the backstory behind um, Lil Steve and M.O.B. Scrap and that whole situation with their brothers, then you know what's going on. I don't need to elaborate, but... Now that kind of changes the narrative because we always thought that it was one way. We thought the ops did exactly what they did and X, Y, and Z. But now he's saying that that was some inside snake-ish, which means or possibly mean that maybe it was a backdoor situation between the guys and all that. That's just something new, at least to me. So maybe Varney revealed something that a lot of us didn't know and he didn't even realize or he knew exactly what he was doing. Um, at the end of the day, it'll be crazy to hear that after all these years of people believing one thing, it's really something else. You know, I'm pretty sure the guys on the inside, they probably know what's going on and the people that's on the outside don't. But it's new to me and I'm pretty sure it's new to a lot of other people hearing Vani say something like that as well. So y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this, what y'all think about Vani, his comments, both of the comments about him sliding uh, before Mimo did for his own brother. And the fact that Mimo's brother's killer may have been snaked out by his own people all right y'all jump in the comments let us know how you feel don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and remember as long as you keep on watching i'm gonna keep on dropping i'm out <laughs>